standing in front of a nearly dead patch of 2,000 gladioli. Yes, 2,000 gladioli, and they're just about done for the season. I have a few stems that are throwing up brand new buds. I'm gonna go through and harvest those today, probably a dozen or so, but um, I do have a new patch of a few hundred, maybe 200 over there that are just starting to color up, so I'm excited to see those. And I have to harvest some basil and some other things for my CSA tomorrow. So most of my CSA members, I don't know why, um, are skipping this week. So I don't know how many bouquets I have to make. I have, I think, seven CSA members with subscriptions left, with a share left. Some have two left. And I let them know in my email this week that I only had about two weeks left of flowers. I think by the end of next week, I'm gonna be done with my sunflowers and my gladiolas. The dahlias will still be producing, but at a much smaller, I don't have any dahlias, let's just, let's just say it. I have like five dahlias a day. That's not enough to you know sustain my CSA. So uh, the CSA next week's probably gonna be a lot of wildflowers, but first let's harvest these gladiolas. as many as I expected. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine stems. Not really needing any more than this. I've got a, a fridge full, a bucket full in the fridge. And I also just noticed that there are a lot of new stems being thrown by this patch. So this last patch definitely has some more life to it. So I started these gladiolas way back on Mother's Day and then every week I planted a new set. So you'll notice they go, they go pretty far back there. And then I planted the very last set over there and I'll show you there because I found a surprise in there today. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. okay, so this is the other gladiola patch that I have. As you can see, it's got, well see, I don't like this. Oh my god, so it had a huge uh, weed. What are these called? Um, well, that's across the explosion grass, but this right here, it's really pretty actually. I wish I knew. See, it drops way too many seeds. I'm gonna never use that in arrangement. Anyway, I think that was lamb's quarter that went to seed. I have a ton of that around here. So this, clearly, oh, there's a baby ladybug in it. I gotta let it stay. There's a baby ladybug. I'm gonna let it stay. Nothing wrong with it, but this is like a deformed gladiola with only two. And then look, I have this beauty, but it's so little but she's still beautiful and I'll use her all day long. So look at this beautiful corally peach color. So using her, but the other ones are normal size. So I've got a lot, like this is a gorgeous one right here. This is that deep purple color. This is the stage, if not even more closed, that I like to harvest them uh, because it protects them from bugs. We, like, there's fewer bugs that get inside of them. Anyway, so I was over here yesterday seeing what was going on because my florist called and asked me what I had. And uh, down here, actually right here, I noticed what I thought were like ground cherries or something. But nope, there's an entire tomato plant right here. Like, like literally like tomatoes. I did not plant this. I have no idea how this happened. Mm. So this is where I had my tomato patch last year. So clearly stuff reseeded itself. Whoever knew, like you can fall sow tomatoes. That's a circle. Oh, there's another yellow one. So this patch I think will throw up lads for me for probably another two weeks. I don't know. And then look over here. Straw flowers, go to straw flowers. This is awesome. 
they're just so cool and that you they they don't open anymore once you harvest them look how many heads are on this baby look at that I will use it like this I like this one There is just a beautiful lemon color marigold in my sea of marigolds and I love it. I'm gonna let that one open a little bit more. This one has just like not very good head. Ooh, also, hi. I've been down here the whole time. I mean, up here. So, um, one of my double quick sunflowers is ready. I wanna show you. Okay. Marigolds gently hold my flowers. Look, the flower bed is literally acting like a flower bed. There she is. She's my first double quick of the season. Let's go chop her head off. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Don't sting me. Okay, so it's not fully open yet, but check it out. Check it out. I love it so much. This is the one that I was so disappointed because I accidentally left the seed packet out after I only planted 200 out of the 500 pack that I bought. That leaf's cute. I'm gonna leave, no, not rip it off. So after I planted this um, triple row, there was like 200 in the ground, um, I accidentally left the seed packet on the ground and it rained and it was gross and I was so upset. Wow. Double quick, I think, quick from Johnny's. Um, and that'll open up on top and there are, a few, I only have like 12 because this is the area where the deer got in my eight foot fence because I left the gate open and uh, chomped their heads off. But I'll show you where it chopped the heads off. Like all these little ones right here, that's growing from where the heads were chopped off. So all is not lost, but I don't think that I'm going to have many of these. I might have 30 tops, but look at, oh my God, it reminds me of Teddy but not because Teddy, I don't feel like has the, the really big outer petals and then the fuzzy middle, and this will get fuzzier, but it'll maintain that green in the middle. <sighs> what do you think? Should I grow it next year? Let me know. I'm gonna harvest some more sunflowers. cannot wait to have a photo sesh with this beautiful beast. I'm gonna wait till it uh, opens fully though uh, because it needs to be... So you're getting a little sneak peek of it before I actually post it on my socials. I would say maybe tomorrow or Saturday it'll be in its fullest glory and then I can get a little photo session with my baby. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go over to the dahlias and the zinnias, and you, I haven't even showed you guys my cosmos. I have a small five foot patch of cosmos, not thick. It's very sparsely. I just seeded it um, because I ended the row of dahlias and I had like five feet left and no dahlia to put there, so I just sprinkled some cosmos seeds and some of them ended up taking, So, and they're really beautiful right now. So let's go look. Bugs inside my bag. There's something crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was, guys. There was some weird thing on my cosmos as I was just walking over and looking at them. It was the size of a hummingbird moth, but it wasn't a hummingbird moth. And I'm so mad that it was gone by the time I got the camera over here. Anyway, this is my little Cosmo patch. It looks adorable. I'm gonna use it for greenery for this week's bouquets and next week's bouquets. The, the Cosmos, unless you do some special treatments to it, they don't really hold up well in the vase. There's the hot water treatment. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to them. I just, honestly, it's not worth my time at this point in the season. It's September. I'm ready to be done. Where'd my clippers go, guys? I was just gonna clip some zinnias. I gotta go get them. Got them. Okay, I'm gonna do a little harvesting. I'm noticing a lot more Japanese beetles than I've had on them 
ever. Like, ever. You're gorgeous. I didn't get a ton. I'm just harvesting what I think I'll need tomorrow. There's no point in getting anything else. Half of these have to be deadheaded. I'm not even worrying about it. Like literally guys, it's the middle of September. I have a low of 39 degrees on Monday night. So I don't even know if I'll even need flowers next week. So just some cutesies. I'm really loving this, this cactus, uh, all the cactuses. So I only harvested what I think I'll need for tomorrow. Hopefully this is it. Uh, my kids are remote learning. So it's been, this is day three. Woo, it's been, it's been. Anyway, I thought I would show you guys a couple things that came in the mail for me. So I got my Johnny's. My Johnny's order was super small. Let's be honest. And I couldn't wait to open it when it came in, guys. Sorry, because I was waiting for dun -da -da -da. I bought two packets of Lysianthus. I have the final stem right here on the live on Sunday, you guys were asking me what my favorite flower was and I, well, I have a favorite flower. Dame's Rocket's my favorite flower from childhood, but this is my current, like Lysianthus is my current favorite, but the Roseanne Brown, something about the Roseanne Brown and the Champagne, here she is. These are my last ones. Well, I have three more golds in the field, of uh, Lysianthus gold, which I will probably cut on Sunday because as I just looked at my phone, it's a low of 39 on Monday, uh, which is, Pretty average for us. Last year we didn't have a frost until April or um, October, like October 13th even maybe. So it is, you know, it could be, like, it ranges so much you can never tell. So anyway, I got these. And then I also bought all of my um, asters from Johnny's. So I got the, uh, a bunch of different ones, the King Apricots, and then all of my status. I got a bunch of status, oops. Um, and then some she's so red she's so red is she is she red she's so red and then uh, I got the Costa apricot snapdragon speaking of snapdragons I still have some I haven't even showed you guys but I, I do my snapdragons are still producing but I just don't feel like they're quality enough to go in a bouquet they're just a little tired this one perhaps I would have put in a bouquet the stems are much longer I just crop the tops off this is a Madame Butterfly bronze and this is a Madame Butterfly uh, red so I do still have these two I actually have some apple blossoms too the Potomac apple blossoms Potomac somebody told me how to say that and I forgot so sorry anyway the mahogany splendor hibiscus seeds I have here I kept calling it red hyacinth in my other video and I knew what it was half the time I said mahogany half the time I said red hibiscus so there's more asters, more status. Oh, mountain mint. I got mountain mint. Ageratum. More asters, more status. Fancy pink white bee larkspur. Just thought it would be cute. And then a white status. So I got all the status colors because I'm really into color blocking this year, guys. Like I said, I had people reach out to me wanting specific colors of something, and most of what I grew was a mix. So I couldn't say, yes, I will have 45 white snapdragons for you because it was a mix and I didn't know what was where. Okay, that was it for my Johnny's order. The Geo order will be coming in a much larger box than this. And then I have this giant box ooh, right here. And I didn't even tell you guys about this. This is from dutchbulbs.com. Oh my God. This is a box of 1,000 Dutch iris bulbs. I didn't even tell you guys about this on my Dutch, uh, on my um, bulb video. So this is a thousand mix. I know I said I wanted to get away from mixes, but these are perennials and I'm so excited. And you can tell like they color up fairly early in the season. I have 25 of these. So last year I, I put 25 in the ground. I put them at the end of peony beds. I put them in with the foxglove. I put them in with the allium. And I really wanted to have, I'm gonna sneeze. I really wanted to have a um, whole area 
of the irises. They hold up super well in bouquets. This was K. Van Burgendine and Sons, which is also DutchBulbs.com. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show you guys a picture. <laughs> my husband picked up my kids yesterday from my mom's and they were driving home and there was a Snapdragon and snapped. Snapdragon. There was a Snapdragon in the middle of the road. There was a snapping turtle in the middle of the road and check out this picture that Veda took. <laughs> Where's Brad Pitt? Apparently Brad Pitt was trying to take a picture of the turtle and move it out of the road and the car started coming the other way so he darted back to the car and this picture is hysterical. She sent it to me and she goes, oh my god mom, I can't stop. I'm crying laughing. Ah, that's good stuff. See, he does smile. My last cup of coffee for the morning. of sweating out there. So in a previous video, I showed you guys my groove ring that I had and it was too big for me because we ordered the wrong size and I had to wear it on my middle finger and I was like, when I pointed to stuff, it would fly off. Well, one of my viewers, Missy, um, Missy emailed me and said, I happened to see your video uh, and where you mentioned the Groove Life ring and that it was too big. She goes, I happen to work for Groove Life and I'd love to send you a ring that fits. And she said, I wanna send Brad Pitt one too. So she actually works for the company and she gets five free rings a year. Um, and she wanted to send me four of them. Two for me and two for Brad Pitt. How freaking sweet is that? Thank you so much, Missy. So this is not like sponsored or anything. It wasn't the company. It was just a person who works for the company who wanted to gift me her rings. So I ended up picking out two and Brad picked out two. Um, we actually ended up getting three for me and one for Brad. I don't know how that happened, but um, I got something I didn't ask for, which I'm, I'm thinking Missy's put this in here. It's a sunflowers. I could be able to see it. I'm gonna do a close up shot. And then a couple of ashes, like it looked like wood. Um, Brad and I got matching ones because we're dorks. And, and I also got one that's black and white with, um, with some bloom. It's called Bloom in Bloom, it's called. So thank you, Missy. That was the sweetest thing ever. I so appreciate it. And now I have a ring that fits. And I know my right size, which I knew. Like, it's the same size as my engagement ring. Anyway, and then one other thing I got in the mail that was a surprise the other day. Okay, so I have... Um, a gentleman who's been watching me who actually lives pretty close to me. He has a mushroom farm. It's called Tiny House Farm in Augusta, New York. And he grows mushrooms. And he said, he wrote me a nice note in here. We've been corresponding back and forth uh, via Facebook and stuff like that. And I, um, I'm probably going to end up doing a feature on his farm because um, that's one of the things that I really want to do on my YouTube channel is feature other local farms, whether it's a flower farm or something else. And I've already reached out to some farms to do that in, in, before COVID and then crap just happened. So anyway, so he has an adult daughter that they work together. They frequently clean shiitakes together in preparation for restaurant delivery. So they grow all these mushrooms and they sell them to upscale restaurants. So his name is Ron. And Ron said his daughter, he and his daughter were sitting on the porch one time and similar to my, what the thrip, my swear word without swearing, they came up with this catchphrase and it's, eat my shiitakes. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I think it's hysterical. So they came up with this line of, of stickers and stuff like that. Eat my shiitakes. I love it. And it's this cool, like, I don't know, mushroom man. It looks ready for a fight. Wah. Anyway, it's really cool. Thank you, Ron, for sending that out. And hopefully you guys will be seeing a video. So there's also, there's other stickers too. Uh, really cool. Hey, why don't I do a giveaway? Comment on this video and I will give away a set of stickers, which by the way, I had a giveaway of stickers <laughs> I just snorted a little bit and uh, Someone who, who won the stickers. I lost the stickers and I found them again So I gotta put them in the mail, <laughs> but I promise you'll get them. It just might be two months from now Anyway, yeah comment to win a set of stickers from the tiny house farm in Augusta, New York And it's Ron and his daughter and hopefully like I said you guys will be see the, seeing them sometime Eat my shiitake. What the thrip? We can have a whole line of swear words without swearing. I love it. Anyway, and now I wanted to talk to you guys about the live because I thought it was awesome. It was two hours and like seven minutes of me talking. I'm so sorry. But anyway, uh, let's do it again. Yeah? Y'all yeah, wanna do it again? I'm thinking, so this would be this Sunday, right? Seven o'clock? 
That works for me if you want to meet me here. I might have to go to my mom's though because my hotspot is almost out of juice and my kids are using it. So I might not be home. I might be at my mom's like on the back porch or something. So whatever, right? Sound good? Okay, so I'm gonna keep it shorter this time and I'm only gonna take questions that come live in the feed because last time you guys submitted questions in advance and I was trying to look through the questions that were submitted in advance and I couldn't keep up with the conversation that was actually having. And thank you guys so much for the super chats. That was amazing and unexpected. Maybe I'll get to have that hoop house, or the peenies, who knows? Still haven't made up my mind on that yet. It's gotta happen soon, right? Poop or get off the pot, right? It's gotta happen soon. I mean, we're in mid-September. If I were to order a hoop house, it would be, you know, freight delivery. It wouldn't be here right away. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I'm usually very good at making decisions, and I, I'm like, that's my news brain, where you're like, okay, you're live. Make the decision now, and it's over with. And that's usually how I am, but um, this one's tricky for me. So anyway, all right, so we'll be live together next, this coming Sunday, which is, let me look at because I gave you guys the wrong date last time and I had to fix it on the screen. It's the 13th of September at 7 p.m. New York time, same time. And I uh, probably won't do one for a while after that because um, we're gonna be getting into crazy season with me, but but let's let's hang out together again and I'm gonna keep it let's keep it to an hour because um, it was I don't think I'll have as many questions this time but you know I had hundreds of you guys on there with me and that was awesome so let's let's try to do that anyway I think that's it I have more videos coming your way this weekend uh, I'm gonna put together a wildflower bouquet with everything that's growing like forage around my yard um, my dad visited the other day and I have like a special story that I want to share with you guys with my father and and you know just I don't know. I just like sharing with you guys. So, I don't know. It helps me in my creativity and um, it just, it's kind of documenting my life too. So, I'm into it. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. We'll see ya.